we from group 12, we present to you our suggested program. Hi, Assalamualaikum and a very good day to everyone. The program and activities that we plan for our graduate attributes is the school attack program. The details of the program will be further explained by my team members after this. Okay, so let's we move to the issues related to weaknesses of the selected UTM graduate attributes among students and why it should be addressed. First, the student has low leadership and team working skills. For example, many students do not get the opportunity and chance to enhance their leadership and team working skills. Students are always limit themselves and afraid to try new things while in the campus. The leadership and team working skills are very important for students because both skills have a direct impact on the ability for an organization to carry out its mission. Next, the weaknesses of the selected UTM graduate attributes among students is they are lack of communication skills. Classroom communication often suffers when students are bored or unenthusiastic about their schoolwork. Thought provoking assignments, technology enhanced lectures, and creative projects spur classroom communication and interaction. On the other hand, outdated and monotonous assignments create communication barriers and students just want the class to be over. The communication skills is very important for students after they are graduate. This is because most of the company in Malaysia need graduates that have good in communication skills, especially jobs that uh, need workers to meet with the client and crowd. I will be explaining about the details of the program that we will be conducting. So, for student organization, we decided to choose Perhata, Let's and other Fabu courses to join this program. We named this program as School Attack that will be conducted at Technical Institute of Johor Bahru, TIJB, only for Form 5 students. Our plan is to run this program on 24th of July 2021 on Saturday. This program is designed to give the opportunity for FABU students to have a sharing session with students that will sit for SPM this year. Why? Mm, we are sure they are still confused and looking for a direction to pursue their studies to the next level. School Attack will help the student in providing the understanding and exposure to school students, especially Form 5 students, which path they can choose after SPM based on their interest. On this sharing session, we decided to invite Ni Akman Afif Ni Ottoman from Professional Career Cube Consultant as a presenter. So let's move on to the most important part, which is schedule of the activity. As we have planned, the program will start at early in the morning, 24 July 2021. We will start at 7 a 15 a.m. for everybody together at Fabu Lounge to have some breakfast together. Then we move to the parking lot in front of Fabu Lounge to have some briefing from the program's director. At 7.45 a.m., head to Technical Institute of Johor Bahru, TIGB, and we expected to arrive at 8.30 a.m. After that, without hesitation, every course will set up their own booth in the school hall. Settle setting up around 9 a.m., students will be released to enter the assembly hall and we will have an open ceremony. Move to the first main activity scheduled at 9.45 a.m. until 10.30 a.m. Motivation talk by Nick Amal Afif Nick Otman, who is very famous with his knowledge and professional consultant skills on career. Next activity will start at 10.30 a.m. until 11.30 a.m. First, ice breaking where students divide into few groups before we continue with the fun game. In fun game, students will be asked to create a uniform only using a newspaper based on their creativity. And each group should have one representative to wear that paper uniform until end of a program to win. After finish one hour of fun game, student, UTM students from every course need to attract the IGB uh, student to visit their booth and they will be present their exhibition. For example, 
If they go to Perhata Booth, then Perhata student will show them about subject offer, career path in property management, and others that necessary. After that, we proceed with the TIGP student fashion show using their paper uniform that they have done in fun game. Next is closing ceremony where program director will, be give, will give short speech and thank those who participate for the course that involve TIGP student and also teachers. In this slot, prize will be given to three best group and also souvenir to appreciate the IGB that give permission for us to implement this suggested program at their school. Closing ceremony expected to end at 1 o'clock. We will finish the program by contributing lunch to all parties involved and dismiss. Last but not least, to have smooth program activity, we will appoint few committee members among FABU students to control time period of each activities and also student movement. Besides, we also will provide an evaluation form for students to fulfill at the end of the program. This form is important for us to check and reflect about how successful our program could be based on students' feedbacks. Finish about activity schedule, now we go to the financial statement. Based on previous program that we have observed, we decided to allocate few amount on those matters. And total are around 1,000 ringgit and 400. To afford all those necessities, we unanimously agree to extract 400 ringgit from Pahata funding, another 1,000 ringgit from HEP sponsorship. We also will put an effort to get a sponsorship from Faber Castle because we have planned to give sessionary to the IGB student who involved. Hopefully, they will be more excited to see for the SPM. Hello everyone, my name is Shuim Ben Hassan. In my opinion, this is a good program in assisting high school students in widening their knowledge about courses available in UTM. As we know, most of the high school students only know about professions like doctors, engineers, accountants, and so on. But do they, do they know about professions like property manager and surveyors? Besides, the program also get to create a public relation between schools in Johor. From this program, UTM students also get benefits such as improving our communication skills, thinking skills, and adaptability. Thank you. Next is about the improvement of UTM graduate attribute that gained throughout this program. Firstly, we can improve our leadership and teamwork skill as we successfully organize and handle this program fully by student organization without collaboration with any organizer. This is showing that we give 100% cooperation and work as a team to ensure this program runs smoothly. Secondly, we also can improve our communication skill to a better level. We can see through this program it has involved variety of students with different backgrounds such as various group of students from different faculty, school students and others. This variety of participants give large exposure to ours that can enhance our communication skill. Last but not least, we also can sharpen our thinking skill when we do the brainstorming session for the activities to conduct with the school student. In a conclusion, Throughout the involvement of UTM students with extracurricular activities prove that it be able to increase their graduate attribute. As a result, they will be more vulnerable to various challenges that can improve their skills. Besides, they also can gain experience that can be used as a lesson and guided in the future. That's all from us. Thank you.